This video is about Whalebase, an interactive dashboard for visualizing the history of modern commercial whaling. This design study project is a cross-department collaboration between the School of Computer Science and Engineering, the School of Quantitative Science, and the School of Aquatic and Fishery Sciences, brought together by the Computing for Environment Initiative at the University of Washington in Seattle. Let's dive in. First of all, why whales? Why should we be concerned about whales? because the health of the global ecosystem is linked to the survival of this species and for that matter to any species on earth. When we eliminate any species from earth, food webs break apart and other dependent creatures suffer too. Nutrient transfer cycles are also disturbed, especially important of which is trapping carbon from the atmosphere and safely depositing it in the deep oceans. And the sheer mass of whales and the numbers in which they were hunted historically means that these negative effects were amplified over the last few centuries when commercial whale hunting, also known as whaling, became rampant. Even today, whales face a threat from human activities in the oceans due to ship strikes or entanglement in fishing gear. Clearly, we need concerted efforts to restore whale populations. But first we need to know where the whales are. In other words, we need ways of estimating the distribution of whales across oceans. How do we do that? One approach could be to just go out and track whales using visual and acoustic monitoring satellite imagery and couple it with statistical modeling to fill in data gaps. For example, this snapshot from an existing whale map interface shows sightings of four different whale species in the North Atlantic Ocean. But notice how all the sightings are basically along the coastline. What about the rest of the ocean? Directly tracking whales is just a really hard problem. We don't have the resources to scan entire oceans. What else can we do? Fortunately for us, the commercial whalers also recorded the details about their catches and this data naturally covers more oceanic regions and is more exhaustive than our current whale tracking efforts because of the way capitalism works. And although it was collected for nefarious purposes, whale researchers today are interested in using this data to understand whale population distributions and the changes therein over space and time. When cross-referenced with the current monitoring efforts, we could extrapolate whale population information in the future. So how can we analyze this data in a way that suits the needs of whale researchers? To answer this question, we built WhaleWiz, an interactive visualization dashboard for analyzing historical whaling data. This dashboard is the result of a design study performed with our domain expert co-authors Zoe Rand and Dr. Trevor Branch. Let us first understand the whaling data and the analysis questions that whale researchers have for this data set. The historical commercial whaling records were collated by the International Whaling Commission to create a cache database which is of interest to whale researchers today. It records whaling events in the modern commercial whaling period starting 1850 and contains details about both the characteristics of the whales caught and expeditions which caught these whales. The dataset has over 2 million cache records across all oceans during this time period. From the design study, we gathered a set of 7 analysis tasks across 3 analysis themes. We discuss only the themes here and invite our viewers to read the paper for the constituent analysis tasks. The first analysis theme is concerned with the big picture of how humans hunted whales across space and time with possible correlations with the physical attributes of the whale caught, like species, sex and length. The second analysis theme focuses on inferring whale populations from the whaling events. While the first two themes were about the history of whaling, the third analysis theme is concerned with the present and future of conservation efforts. These analysis themes informed the choice of three design goals for our dashboard and consequently guided the implementation of WhaleBiz. Our first design goal was to support both spatial and graph analysis based on the first two analysis themes. The motivation behind spatial analysis is evident from the requirement of understanding spatial patterns in whale catches. The requirement of graph analysis, however, comes due to our proposed approach of inferring spatial population distribution of whales from the catch data. We model the catch data as a graph where the nodes of the graph represent the catch locations and the edges of the graph represent the routes taken by expeditions between these locations. This allows us to get an idea of where we searched for whales and accordingly estimate the whale catches normalized by the search effort, also known as the catch for unit effort, as a visual approximation. This consequently helps us estimate the spatial whale population densities and the changes therein over time. Our second design goal was informed by the different data attributes that needed to be visualized and the best practices in dashboard design when it comes to handling multiple interactive visualizations while reducing dashboard clutter and making them intuitive to interact with. Accordingly, 
We started with a set of seven default visualizations, which cover all the analysis tasks gathered from our design study. To make these visualizations easy to use, we cross-linked all the visualizations and employed direct manipulation-based interactions to reduce the clutter due to UI elements. Recognizing the need to make the dashboard configurable to handle newer analysis tasks, we set our third design goal to make Whalewis transparent so that it may be sustained for new use cases or new datasets. Accordingly, we implemented Whalewis in the observable notebook environment to leverage its transparency and reactive development framework. This was important especially keeping in mind the user audience of this dashboard, Whale researchers, who may not be necessarily well versed with using such tools. Let's look at a use case demonstrating the use of Whalewis to understand how humans switched from whaling one species to the other over time. By inspecting consecutive 10-year periods using the time filter, we can see three things. One, we hunted blue and fin whales during the 1900s, then moved on to the relatively smaller sperm and say whales. And by the time whaling was banned by the IWC in 1986, we were mainly hunting the even smaller minke whales. Second, we first hunted the bigger species owing to the higher commercial gains per catch and then moved on to the smaller species as the bigger ones began declining in numbers. And finally, we were restricted to hunting near the coast before the 1920s, but technological advancements thereafter enabled us to hunt for whales in the middle of the oceans, especially in the Antarctic waters. For future work, we have three potential areas of improving the dashboard and implementing features which can be generalized to multiple data domains for interactive analysis. Currently, Whalebase only supports visual estimation of the search effect. We plan to incorporate graph-based analysis techniques to support rigorous computation of the catch per unit effort and consequently the spatial population densities of whales. We are also interested in seeing how researchers' data insights can be recorded using a database management system similar to how the IWC Cache database itself is managed. The idea is to record insights in a way that is tightly integrated with the original dataset. Finally, we also plan to help whale researchers take what we know about the past and use it to extrapolate into the future for simulations of what-if scenarios constrained by what has been observed so far in the IWC Cache database. We invite you all to use the dashboard to learn more about historical commercial whaling and refer our paper for more details about the data and whale base. Thank you.